Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, where today, I believe, we're gonna go do the main mission. Oops, I've been playing- I've been playing Skyrim, so my controller skills are gonna be even worse than normal. Okay, before we get too much further, I do want to mention, I just finished watching the first part of, um, of a, of a Mass Effect playthrough from somebody who I'm very excited for. Um, Parashiko, or Parashizo Zoket, um, is the channel name, and I'll link it in the description if anybody, uh, or if it's okay with, um, with, with this person, um, but I was very excited because she's been following my channel for a long time, and we've been chatting for a long time, and she mentioned it a, a few weeks ago, and I was, like, so incredibly excited for her that she's doing this, and even more exciting is that she's, she's German, she's speaking in German the whole time, and I was like, oh my gosh, because, like, I went to Berlin for a month for a study abroad, and I studied German for, like, a year, you know, and I'm very horrible at it, but I was like, I love the language, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. Uh, she's playing the game in English, uh, and she's playing Mass Effect 1, and she's got a couple videos up for that already. Um, so if you're interested, just stop by, go check her out, see what you think. I know I do actually have a lot of people who are from Germany that watch or subscribe and stuff like that, and so I was like, oh my gosh, and if you're not even, if you're not German or Austrian or whatever, whoever speaks Deutsch, uh, um, like whoever does, uh, if, even if you don't, uh, it's really cool, like she does a very good job, she's got great audio, great video, um, and, and I really, really, I'm really excited for her, I'm just really excited, so if you guys want to go check her out, um, she's been going by a different name, that when we've been chatting to her, she's on, she comes to Twitch stream sometimes too, so I'm not sure, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe ask her, I forgot, I should have asked her if I could tell, cause, cause some of you know her, some of you have chatted with her, um, and there's also somebody else who's thinking about who, who is going to start up her own channel, and I'm like, ah, it's just so many, so many good things happening, it's so good. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to her channel as long as it's okay with her, I'll double check. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, go check her out. The game is in English because she said before that, uh, sometimes the, the, uh, localization, voice acting doesn't always go very well. <laughs> Um, so she's playing the game in English, it, with English subtitles and English, like, speaking, like, Shepard speaking English. But she's speaking German, and it's beautiful and wonderful, so you should definitely stop by and check her out if, if you're, if you're, if you're interested. So, that's, that's my little two minute of, two minutes of gushing there. But, uh, I think, oh, I did actually, really quick, want to stop by the Citadel, because apparently Shepard, or Shepard, huh. Liara's dad actually has, um, oh, a lot more things, like, Liara and her dad have a lot more things to say to each other, so I was like, oh, crap, so let's go stop by the Citadel really quick, um, yeah, and then we'll go see if we can get some more conversations, that is so freaking loud, Oh man, it feels so good to play a Mass Effect game. Even if I have been kind of putting this one off because because it's sad. <laughs> it's full of sadness. <laughs> but it's also full of some good, there's good, there, I mean, even the sad things aren't bad sometimes. They're just sad and it's like, meh. But. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need Presidium ground transport? Cummins. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Oh man, why can't everybody in the world just get along so we can all travel to space and basically be Star Trek? You know, when humanity finally got their act together and got along and we're like, you know what, let's explore space. I need that to happen. <laughs> I think I'm ready to end it with yeah, that just repeats. I really hope this works. Yes, okay, they're still there. The matriarchs aren't gonna do anything to you, especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on, you know how Asari work, infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. 
about as useful as tits on the hand. <laughs> Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. Yeah, it's... I figured they could do some biotic tanking, though, you know? So, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. <laughs> yes, I'm aware oh, of that. Oh, she is! So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. What? Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half sister who's. <laughs> I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> Hanar! Oh my gosh! I did not know that. Oh, I knew that she was a quarter Krogan. I'd heard about it. But oh my gosh, and I know that's not how Asari reproduction works, but even the Asari themselves say it frequently. Like, like the one in Mass Effect 2 who's like, Dad was a Batarian, you know? But that's more of like the, I think the rate, like how you raise your, your child All style. All I'm saying is, if you feel the urge to <laughs> it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt any- <laughs> Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. <laughs> I do not headbutt people. Ah! All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. <laughs> or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Come on, Liara. I think I think Athena's handling it quite well with her like wry, cynical humor. She's handling the whole reveal or whatever, you know, quite well. Liara's still trying to maintain that she's an adult and I don't know Liara I think Liara is still kind of like I don't know I don't know Nazi and I were together for more than a century you loved her of course I loved her she was so smart always thinking nice too hell of a lot nicer than I am and damn that crap <laughs> I mean even before she hit the <laughs> matriarch <stage. laughs> You don't need to tell me everything. <laughs> it's like, please, pa please. I know, right? You, the older you get, the more your parents are like, let me just tell you stories from my youth. And I'm like, please, no. <laughs> I don't need to know that. <laughs> this is really interesting. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to read Liara's reactions to this. It's like she's, she's known, so it's not like a huge surprise, but she's actually talking to her. You know, she's talking to her dad. She's... She wanted to know about her dad since forever. What's that? That like extra whooping sound, do you hear that? Huh. Okay. Nazi was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was, I wanted us to stand on her own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things the smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter broken. Now you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> These two are funny. Oh my gosh. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Aww. Why not? Sex appeal. Most species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available. Mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. <laughs> I've seen the way you look at each other. What? Surprised your panties haven't caught fire. What? Do you have to make it sound so <laughs> tawdry? <laughs> if it's all civilized, you're not doing it right. Athena is my favorite. She's my favorite. I'm gonna name my firstborn child after her. Oh no, did I never move far enough away? There is no sex appeal between Liara and I. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. 
I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. Oh, that's what her mom used to call her. Oh my gosh. That was her dad's nickname for her. That's kind of, that's really kind of horrible of Benezia to like take, take Liara away from her father, you know? They were just different people, like. Better to remember her like this than as whatever she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with your head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Oh my god, I just got chills. Like, that was amazing. I mean, they probably haven't put out too much about, like, the exact thing that goes down with Reaper indoctrination, you know? And a thousand years old, I mean... She knows so much, but it's... it's every, Even when you know so much, like... Every now and then you're just reminded about how much you don't know, you know? Uh, and that's good. It means, you, it means that you are aware you don't know everything and don't have all the answers, and that's good. For a fresh spreadable alternative, <laughs> try McSorley's Chloe. Just take care of yourself out there. Okay, kid? I will, Dad. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who... Uh, Owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell them where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy your <laughs> damn <laughs> You're the best father a girl could wish for. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is so adorable! I can't even handle it! This is so perfect! I'm so glad! I'm so glad, Liara! I'm so glad you met your dad! Come on. I can't blame the matriarchs did for it start keeping over? an eye on you. I am not my mother. Right, yep. Mm, you did. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And you bugged my <laughs> office on Elena. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I am so glad. Thank you guys for letting me know Welcome, Commander Shepard. that there was more the to that conversation. I mean, it's fun to come by and hear it in bits and pieces, but I, I've been wanting to hear them chat for since I ever heard rumors that Liara's dad was Athena, you know? Oh, that was so cute. Thanks, Dad. You're the best dad a girl could ask for. Oh. Now arriving at yeah, Liara like, probably has several half sisters, <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm Hanar. Uh, Hanar, half Hanar sister. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I've had kids with a Hanar. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's amazing. All right, well, since since basically the only thing we have left are like fetch quests, and for for areas that we haven't really opened up yet, I think we'll start the next phase of the mission, which I feel like I didn't do until like much later but like last time I played but I don't know this is obviously not gonna be exactly like the first time I played because it's been like over two years since I've laid eyes on this game but but we'll get there we'll figure it out Meet with the diplomats, oh buddy, oh girl, Rex! Don't be too mad. Don't be too mad, bro.
Anything in this system? Why? Oh yeah, because this is the Solarian homeworld area. Giant bears the name of the he Helio Geese Corporation. Innovation and cooperation. Circus sister plan is in a weak hothouse state. Species saw mining the planet as an engineering challenge. Ah, uh, okay, and they're the ones who made the robo mining industry galactic standard. Yikes, but Nura's political machinations won out, and the planet now bears her clan's name on all standard Solarian star maps, because it used to be named for cool things. Sir Kesh. Pretty to look at, to do with life, uncomfortable living, and dangerous to the unwary. They had significant pollution and waste problems early development in their society. But they also embrace social solutions just as quickly. And through complex breeding rules, Sirkesh now maintains a crowded but sustainable population. It is far from dark space. Mm, because they can strike the first blow, many already consider their forces at a disadvantage. Alright, let's go! Meet with the diplomats, boy buddy! The diplomatic ships of the Solarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapons range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for negotiations. Commander, the Solarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. <laughs> Shepard's like, oh boy. And hope this doesn't start another war. Yeah. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just I'm some like, hey, Rex. Baron you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Oh, buddy! Oh! Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. It's not like... It, it, and it shouldn't even be, like, non-negotiable. It should be impossible, because technically it's impossible to cure, apparently. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. That's a rude thing to the say! The was the only way to keep your urges in check. Oh, boy. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. He's a jerk! We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. No, that's not, no! It's what they knew beforehand and then it's, you didn't control them that way. Like that's, she's, she's making so many assumptions. It's like, it's like, where does she get this idea? I've never met a Solarian who was like this concerning the Krogan. I guess maybe, I don't know, I knew Morden. That was basically the closest, and he feels sympathy and empathy for the, for the Krogan. And also, this is the first time you meet a female Solarian, which is cool, but she's a witch. <laughs> Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. But we don't! No good can come from curing the genophage. I 
can't remember what I chose. I think I went Paragon last time, but I might have actually said we don't have a choice. But uh, I don't remember. The Krogan have paid yeah. for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. One thousand four hundred and seventy-six years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. What? Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. <laughs> a Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess. Ah! Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Uh -huh. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? What do you mean? This is being so selfish. We turned to the Krogan in a time of need before, and we have a time of need again. Like, and we can't just keep using them as our failsafe card. Like, they deserve something from this, you know? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. And she What's can't take the Krogan females away from their own people. What is she the planning on doing with them? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirtash. Shepard's like, I'm out. Peace. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this... <laughs> ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. Shepard's like... We're not setting foot on Sirtash. This will take time. It happens now. As a council specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. Oh, buddy. I've never taken... I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. I am just doing what needs to be done. And besides, if I have the Turians and Krogans as an ally, I don't really need the Solarians. Good luck lasting on your own. Ooh, who should we bring? We'll bring... We'll bring Garrus. And... I want to. Oh, I want to bring Yavik. I think I brought him last time, and that was pretty funny. Uh, that should be fine. No, the Salarian always. The Salarian Daltress always puts me on edge. It's good to know that there are like the, all the other Salarians that I know are good men. You know, and I only know men, so they are the good men. <laughs> but yeah. Like, I, I, the Solarian, we need to all be united, but if she's gonna selfishly keep her people behind closed doors, like, they're gonna die. Like, we, we need to do what we can, you know? I have my SMG. I have my Viper. Uh, he has Park Rifle 3, Predator 3. Okay, he only has the Avenger 2. Let's see, do we have any more? We do. Increases weapon stability. Uh, increases the accuracy. Let's do the accuracy and... That one, yeah. The uh, assault rifle piercing mod. Confirm. Let's see, do we have anything else for the Mantis that's not a... Okay, that's good. Could get that one. We are going to be fighting a lot of Cerberus. So... I don't know how useful that would be to him, is the thing. I guess it does increase the accuracy. Accuracy, accuracy is already pretty high on the Mantis, so. Um, where's the, yeah, let's try that one for now. OK. 
Okay. And this is me. Do I have any more? I think I... No, I only, I'm using the two mods I've got. Okay. Confirm! What? What? For reals? For reals. I guess this is a main mission, but dang! Do I have to... Am I gonna have to keep flipping discs around? I think Frog Raider just mentioned on the last, uh... Or on the, I think, episode 23? Um... 22 or 23? That... That, uh, he just downloaded the... Because now Mass Effect 2 and 3 are backwards compatible, right? On the... On the X-Bone. So... So he just got it on the x And he said, oh, it'd be nice to uh, not have to insert and, like, you know, re remove and insert discs all the time. And I'm like, it's not... I was, like, thinking, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. And now I'm like, it's bad. Nope. <laughs> I actually do have two and three on uh, Steam. But obviously all my old saves and stuff are on the 360 and I do I don't know I like playing on the 360 it's just it's easier like rather than having to like you know wait for my computer to boot itself up that's the advantage it's supposed to be the advantage of the console right is the ease of playability so but I keep my games close by so no big this is exciting I am tired. I'm like, I'm so excited, yawn. <clears throat> so who's pumped for Andromeda? <laughs> I'm just gonna be replaying Mass Effect until draw like one, two, and three. One, two, and three until Andromeda comes out, and then I'm just gonna get the game and cry. I'm gonna be like, I'm so happy. Although I did see. All right, I don't like pre-ordering, and I don't like um, like I don't really. Is there supposed to be sound? Oh shoot! This I didn't plug Solarian my headphones back in. <laughs> they aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it. Safe. <laughs> Rex, Land, chill. Females and leave before anyone changes their mind. Chill out. I still don't trust a word they say. Be nice. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. Just like you're getting what you want. Shepherd. Don't be angry. What are you talking about? I found out you had access to Malin. No! It. it was a horrible Shepard. decision. Shepard's helping you now. Is she? These females are my people's best and last hope of curing the genophage. Whose side are you on, Shepard? I'm so. It was. I. I really regretted it after it happened. Like after, when, once this game started, I realized what a mistake I made. Destroying the data was a mistake. This war has shown me every species. Exactly! I want to believe that. I want to believe what you said to the Dalatress was real. We'll see how things shake out. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Come on, Rex. We'll sort this out later. Here is. Garrus, talk some sense into him for me. I need to bring... Oh, I need to... Oh, I should have brought Liara out. I think she talks to Rex about something. I don't know when or what. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their chill, word. Chill, chill, Rex. Let's oh. see them try to stop a Krogan air. Oh. Rex! Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Landing. And who authorized you to hold my race up? Yep, he's a Krogan with biotics. Peace! Peace, everyone! Hold! Stand down! Hold your fire! Wait, what? Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. 
I thought it was supposed to be moored in there. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Yep. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. <laughs> they were much smaller in my cycle. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. <laughs> what is the yog doing? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary. I love Paddock Wakes, don't get me wrong. Exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians. <laughs> Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Creepy old Rex walking around. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. 